The National Congress of American Indians has called on players for the Washington Redskins to speak out against the team name. And she is calling for them to get rid of it. Here, here's a little bit of the statement. I am calling for members of the NFL franchise in Washington, D.C. to rise to the occasion and become heroes. All I ask is that you state the unequivocal moral truth, just as you would never play for the Washington, insert any other racial slur, you will no longer play for any team branded with a racial slur against Native Americans. As long as that team name stands, players of conscience should, conscience should sit at home rather than wear the NFL equivalent of the Confederate flag. That is NCAI President Fawn Sharp. And I say, Fawn, more power to you. Straight fire. There we go. Straight fire. And what she said, Chris, is right on the money. Stop with all this. You know what's going on in this country? And God bless Native Americans. They see what's going on. They see that Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima are out of work. They see that the last Sambo's restaurant, Chris, has been has been cha- name has been changed. Right. Why why shouldn't they want to get in involved? They stop calling it what is it, the Eskimo Pie no more? Why not? It's time. It's, the NFL It's past time. Your two hundred and fifty million dollars is nice. You woke now? You really woke? Right. And you get it? We all know that that name, I don't even like saying it, Chris. I don't even like saying it anymore. And there are newspapers and news organizations around this country that have banned the use of it. When I wrote a column about a week ago about this at Deadspin, we wouldn't use it. We wouldn't use the R skins. We wouldn't use it, Chris, even in the copy, even in the headline. Enough already. And you know what, Chris? I'm going to say this. This thing can be done done and over with in two seconds. Yep. When the players say that they refuse to wear that helmet and refuse to wear those uniforms, the NFL and Daniel Schneider will have no choice. Zero. Because if the players revolt and stand up for this and, and refuse to wear that, There's no way you can have a team in Washington, D.C. They won't miss a game. And the only way they'll miss a practice is because the powers that be will want to wait and see if they mean business. And once they show they mean business, it'll be changed yesterday. And for those that are wondering, because I brought this up last week, Rob, when you were on your staycation, that if this term is offensive to Native Americans, then it must go. And if you're really against racism, then it's not just racism against African Americans. It's racism against Native Americans as well. Absolutely. All people of this land, we're going to be inclusive. That's what this country is all about. We're the only nation that has people from everywhere, Chris. You go to Japan, it's 99% Japanese. Go at most places. We're, we're, we're all people from all over the world. Everybody should be welcome to the party. We need to get off of this. We all know that that name ain't right. We Look, all know it. Dictionary.com. Here's the definition of that term. A contemptuous term used to refer to a North American Indian. There it is. It's in the dictionary. What more evidence do we need? And I am. Look, here's the difference. This is the reason that Sam Bowles restaurant is out of business, Rob. They or change open, his name. Change the name. Change yep. his name. This is the reason you don't have some teams named after black racial slurs. Because African Americans have numbers in terms of the population and enough political power, power within popular culture to stand up and make a difference. Native Americans, because of the way they've been annihilated in the past, don't necessarily have the numbers or the political power. 
And that is why. But that tells if you're only making the changes because we have enough people or enough political power to force it or to make you uncomfortable, then your heart's not in the right place. Then you still are a racist, even if you make the changes. And, if and you really gonna... are standing against racism, you will stand against it for those that don't have the power to make you change it. No doubt. And always remember this. It, it's not about you. It's about the people that say they're offended. If somebody yes. says, if you don't, Chris, if, if I offend you and I didn't mean it and you say, Rob, you offended me, I apologize, right? That's right. what I would do. And if I say, well, I don't know why you're offended. No, <laughs> no. if I tell you I'm offended, that's all right. you need to know. Absolutely. You don't have to agree with it or understand it. I'm telling you, you offended me. So yep. if you didn't mean to offend me, you apologize. If you don't, if, if Native Americans have spoken, they've gone out, Chris, over the years and brought in a couple of, you know, there's always somebody on a different, you know, who says, oh, I love it. I think it's good. <laughs> and, and they go, see, there's a guy, right. there's a Native right. American. He's cool with it. No, that's not good enough. The National Congress of American Indians represents 500 tribes. Thank you. That's good enough, Chris. That's, a better, that's a better feeling than some lone wolf who they and, put on the air to act yep. like that he's speaking for all Native Americans. And you see, look, the Redskins, have, or are they taking down, well, they, they're getting rid of the former owner, Sherman, well, I think was his name. Down. They, they took the statue it. down. But the name has to go. That's not enough. And I, look, if the league won't do it on its own, Rob, we're calling, we're joining Mrs. Fawn Sharp and calling on the players to take a stand. It if is you're your really fight. about it that is your life, fight. right. If you're really about that life, you want Tom Brady and Nick Bosa and you know, you know, all these other white players to join in our fight, right? Then let's join in the fight with the Native Americans as well. 100%. It can't be picking and choosing. Which one do you want? You want everybody to be treated the same and equal or not? Right. Because if you don't understand it, and the players, hello, I want you guys, players, if you're listening or somebody knows one, tell them to Google what happened at Missouri and how much power the players who yep. make no money, Chris, have the coaches had their scholarship in their back pockets and they stood up for what was right. And they got... The, the president of the university and the chancellor to both resign within a week's time or whatever yep. it was, a couple days. Yep. It's yep. doable. Absolutely. It's very – come on. Like you said, it would be done within a week. The change would be made within a week. And then however long it takes, which shouldn't be long, to get rid of the uniforms or the, the helmets, whatever it is, all that, it could be done quickly. And teams all you have to do is make a stand. In Washington, what, what did, remember when they, all the people were getting killed in Washington so they didn't want to name the team the Bullets anymore, Chris? Yep. And they just yep. changed it to the Wizards. The owner, just A. Like Poland, that. was just like that. You know, the connotation, remember, they had a high murder rate in oh, D.C. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. was like, I just don't like that name, the Bullets, being associated uh, with the team's name. And they changed it. Everybody bought new jerseys. And that was the end of it, Chris. It was no big deal. Right. It's not that complicated. It really isn't. And so I salute Fawn Sharp, the president of the NCAI. And uh, I, I, I assume it's a woman. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. But I salute this person. And so uh, the National Congress of American Indians has called on players to make the Redskins change their name. All right. Your turn to weigh in, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Here's the question for you. Do players need to take up this cause? Everybody's talking about social justice, and they are doing stuff. Is this something they also need to add to the agenda? Your turn to weigh in. It's Chris and Rob, the Odd Couple. All right, John in Illinois, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What you got? Hey, guys, uh, should they take up the cause for the Redskins? Absolutely. I spoke with a Native American friend of mine that I play video games with, and I asked him, are you offended? For real, because I'm a white guy from, from, from southern Illinois. So right. Right. My, my level of, 
gauge of who's racist and who's not may not be very well. But I'm trying to understand, and I'm trying to be woke as best I can. And, John, uh, what did your Redskins, friend say? He said that uh, the Redskins is absolutely offensive, and not just because some dictionary said it, but the Redskins itself and the meaning behind it was that was a scalped Native American. Yes. That the white people were saying, look at that Redskin because of the blood mm. from, what, from what we had done. Right. And these atrocities. I think right. if you have to tell a person to get on board, then their heart's not in the right place. They'll get on board because it's the right thing to do. I appreciate right. the show, guys. Thank you. Thank for you, John. Good, appreciate good the call. call. And like yeah. you know, Rob, like we all don't. Some, some, some of the opposers of the justice are racist, and some are just ignorant of what's been going on and what you know the the history of the country really. Right. And, and, and just and like we things. don't know everything about, I don't know everything about Native American culture by any stretch. Not so at all. But that's why that, I, he took the right approach. He did, and he asked a friend of his. Yep. Like, just like, and 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 that's where you find out if somebody tells you so, you just have to believe them. Why, why yep. wouldn't you? Uh, Chris in Boise, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Chris? How you guys doing? How I'm you great. doing, man? So, so I'm I'm taking. Uh, I, I think the players should do it. Um, that that name is incredibly offensive. Um, and I, I'm coming from, you know, I'm a white guy in Idaho. Uh, but I think the cancel culture is getting out of hand and, you know, this political correctness. And I think. I, I do I agree with being, that. You know, things are taken too far. Like I heard today that real estate agents are going to start uh, calling the main bedroom a main bedroom and not a master bedroom because, you know, the, the term's offensive. Um so there, there is some stuff where I'm kind of in the gray. I draw a line on how far we take it. But red, Redskins is very, very derogatory. And if the only thing that they could be doing to have not changed it by now is being concerned over money. But, you know, if you rebrand and you relabel, you have merchandise sales. Right. Without, have, without question. Like a re- yeah, you can make money on doing the right thing, too. So yep. I, I don't know why they haven't done it now. Chris, and no like, doubt look, about it's it. a good call. In the bottom, like we said, if they won't do it out of the goodness of their heart, then the players need to make them do it. No doubt. Dre in Michigan, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Dre? Hey, what's going on, fellas? What's How up, you? man? Uh, not much, man. Once again, man, y'all brothers changing the world, man. I tell you that with y'all talk show, the man. things that you talk about. Thank you, man. Brother. I you, Just to share experience right quick, man. Uh, Chris, you brought up last week about how when we have any discussions with uh, people from other races, not to be offensive or be offended by it, but to, you know, try to relate to them. And since I listened to that, I mean, I had two of the greatest conversations with some coworkers and to get a real understanding of what each, each person is thinking and going through. So I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you, man. I but, appreciate uh, that. No doubt. But as far as the, uh, the Native Americans, yes, they should stand up for them. Because uh, if anybody has comparable to that genocide, that was committed against them is, is uh, African Americans and Native Absolutely. Americans because we've yep. both been through it. And you can't have somebody stand up for you, but you not stand up for them. It got to be right on all sides. No and like the first caller, I talked to a Native American. I don't even use the term Indian no more because after talking to a Native American, he told me how offensive that was. I don't even allow my kids to say it. You know what I'm saying? We say Native American because yep. that's what they are. Dre, yep. you know what's funny is you, you say that. I remember being in the bank. I'll never forget. This is 20 years ago. I was in the bank, and a little kid came over, and he gave up. We were standing in line. This was a long time ago, the cashier check. Standing in line, he that gave up. It was, a, he was a, it was a long time. It was like over well, we 20 years ago. <laughs> and and he, the kid came over. It was a little kid. He gives the guy a nickel that he had. He gave the kid a nickel. And then, I mean, the, the kid gave the man a nickel. The man held on to it. The kid came back. For his nickel, asked him for his nickel back. And I'll never forget, it was a white kid and white mother, and I'll never forget, the mother said to him, and I remember how much it hurt me just standing in line to hear it. She said, Billy, don't be an Indian giver. You gave that man a nickel. And I realized what that meant. Do you know what I mean? And she said it like off her tongue without even thinking about it. That's exactly what it was. I remember that term growing up as a kid and, and probably saying it myself, not right. knowing, you know what I mean? That what was it just, really meant. Yeah, that was just a part of what we, you know, people grew up saying, but you're right. And, um, 
But you got to get rid of that stuff. No doubt. You got to get Mark, that rid of that stuff. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, gentlemen? How, How are you doing? doing? I'm good. The, the three callers right before me, I'm just going to echo what they said because they hit it perfectly on the head. They expressed it very well. I just want to add one of my own personal to it. First of all, yes, the players should do this. And I agree with Rob. They got a loud voice because if they don't play, those owners will buckle. Man. I, I agree with Rob. Seconds, yeah, I agree. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah, yeah. And, and the last point I wanted to make on my personal was that uh, uh, they're the original Americans. They were here first. So if we're going to take down a statue, yeah. let's take down Christopher Columbus. You can't discover something and people are already here. Right. That's the way I look at that. You guys have You a come day. and steal my house and tell me you discovered it. You know? Come on. Right. It's, it's impossible. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's go to – I'm sorry. My, uh, let's go to Tucker – Wait a minute, Tucker Justin? Oh, Trucker, Trucker Justin. I'm sorry, I was looking for the city. Trucker Justin, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. There, we go. there it is. Thank you, brother. You know we always love that sound. Absolutely, gentlemen. Um, I, I really think the players should, but, you know, we need to really, I think, we don't need to. We lose Open a Pandora's oh. box because if. Hello? Yeah, we got listening. you. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, if we start changing everything, which I think it should be changed, but then we start looking at the history. Like, I'm a bit of a history buff, and if you want something kind of really dark, look at the history of Chief Blackhawk's skull, of what famous leader kept it around as a souvenir and as a warning to others to not defy the American government. Um, Miami, that's a Native American tribe. Mankato, Minnesota. I mean, the list is endless. Chippewa Falls. Let's just go on through our country and all of the names. We, our ancestors conquered the people and then named our cities after conquered tribes and famous leaders. Right. So we no. could, it's, it, that's a really tongue-in-cheek kind of thing going on. No, and no I doubt. think they should change it. Well, then where do we go then? And I, I said this last week that when, when civilizations or countries, societies change, the names change. Right now, most in most cases, it's done by war. I mean, like you, like he said, when the American settlers came here, they changed names. They knocked down totem poles, idols, all that, right, and changed the names. And this is so far, even beyond you know some of the looting and rioting, this has been a peaceful revolution. But names and stuff are being changed, and stuff is you know idols are being knocked down. Idols of these statues, these Confederate soldiers, and all that. So um, hopefully it can remain a peaceful transition and this can be a land, truly be a land for all and liberty and justice for all, right? That's what we want. 